Application Engineer with Trimax Solutions out of the Knoxville, Tennessee office. And today we're going to be talking about how to create multiple fillets in one feature. This can be very useful if you just don't like a cluttered feature tree or uh, very powerful if you're creating simplified geometry for simulation, for manufacturing, or just for assembly performance. You can simply suppress one simple feature. So the typical way that we would do a fillet is to say fillet this edge in one feature, maybe these outside edges here in another feature, and these vertical posts here and yet a third feature. We're going to show how to do that kind of all at once here. So we're just going to launch the fillet command and we'll put in the radius for our first fillet. So this one will be let's say a five millimeter fillet. So right now I'm going to click this button here. This is multi-radius fillet. So what this does is each time I click something to fill it, a little pop-up box comes up. So as I select my next couple edges here, we'll see pop-up boxes for those as well. Now I can come over here on the left side and edit the radius of these fillets here. Or I can do it directly from this pop-up. So now we can just add a couple more edges here. And it will remember the last edge that you chose, the last radius. So you can see I put six millimeters on these edges down at the bottom and it remember that for the top. So there we go. Those are all our fillets that we need for this piece, all done in one feature. Like I said, it's very easy to simply suppress that for a simplified configuration. And then unsuppress if you want to send out drawings with actual details and radius for the fillets. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section of the accompanying blog post or reach out to us at 888-TRIMAC. Thanks for watching.